Hi and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Chrissy and Ginger and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Ginger's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and the motivations we give the dogs while we're working with them, and the training equipment that we're using. Chrissy's using a regular six foot web training leash and she'll keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is just a tug and let go on our training collar which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You'll notice that Chrissy keeps that collar high up behind Ginger's ears which will give you the most control over her while you're trying to work her through her commands. You'll notice that Ginger is sitting very nicely on Chrissy's left which is where all of our obedience training is done. The first command that we're going to demonstrate for you today is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and Chrissy and Ginger are going to take off doing that now. The command is Ginger heal and you'll notice that she's been trained to walk very nicely at your left at your pace. Incorporated into the heel exercise is an automatic sit. She should not lag behind or pull forward but just walk very nicely at your left and when you stop moving your feet she should sit next to you and wait for her next command. Very good job. The next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the stay command. The stay is a hand and a voice command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm an inch or so in front of Ginger's muzzle and the one word firm command to stay. stay. The long sit stay when you're practicing at home is for one minute working up to three minutes. This is a great exercise to help develop her maturity and self-control, so practice this often, both inside your home and outside. When Chrissy returns back to Ginger, she's going to walk all the way around her, and Ginger should remain seated until she receives praise or another command. And we'll run through the heel, the sit, and the stay again for you. It's important throughout the course of the training that you keep Ginger motivated and happy and interested, so praise her often, coax her through, make sure she's having a good time with it. Nice automatic sit. We're going to give her the stay command. Walk out to the end of the training leash. And this time, instead of returning back to Ginger, we're going to call her in and demonstrate the recall command. The command is Ginger come, and she comes in nicely and sits right in front. And then we have an exercise called the finish, where Ginger will walk all the way around Chrissy and return back to heel position. And then sit. Very good job, and we'll show that to you again. comes in, sits nicely right in front, and then the command is ginger heel, and she walks all the way around, returning back to heel position. Beautifully done. Very good job. Chrissy adjusts the training collar. You'll notice that you'll get so much more control out of Ginger if you do keep that collar high up right behind her ears. If the collar tends to slide down, you know, right by her shoulders, that's the strongest part of her body. So when you need that extra control, just take a minute and slide it back up behind her ears. The next command we're going to demonstrate for you is the down command. You're going to take your left hand and drop it straight down towards the ground and tell her to down. Down. Very good job. Now it is cold and wet out here and she doesn't have a lot of coat so of course it's not the best conditions for Miss Ginger. The long down stay when you're practicing at home is for three minutes working up to five minutes. And when Chrissy returns back to Ginger, she's going to walk all the way around her, and Ginger should remain laying down until she receives praise or another command. Very good job. Like I said, this ground is cold and wet, so that was very good. <laughs> well done. We'll show that command to you again. Left hand straight down towards the ground. Down and the one word from command to down. Very good job. And this time instead of returning back to Ginger, Chrissy's going to call her in. Come. Command is Ginger come. She comes in, sits in front. Very good job. And then the command is Ginger heel and she walks all the way around returning back to heel position. Beautifully done. Good girl. Good job. 
Now we'll heal her out of that and we'll set her up for the last command we're going to demonstrate for you today, which is the down from a distance. Chrissy will leave Ginger in a sit stay. Stay. And this time she will give her the down command from the end of the training leash. Down. Yep. She didn't go down the first time, so Chrissy said no and repeated the command. That was perfect. These are all the formal commands that Ginger has learned while she's been here at school with us. It's been a pleasure having her, and we thank you so much for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.